Hi friends, in this session let's continue to our task 4 that is download files from our source URL. In the last session we have got our configuration data to a variable in SSIS and then we have stored our source URL path to a project parameter. So in this session let's uh, map, let's form a full qualified path with file name reading from the fetch config object and form a new full qualified path and then use that to download files from our source. So let's go ahead to our package and in order to loop that the task that supports looping an object in SSIS is for each loop container, right? So drag that object for each loop container here and then map our first source into for each loop container because I want to execute this after this one, this execution. Now open for each loop container and go to collection and choose your enumerator type as ADO enumerator because that's an object. Now choose your object, config object. So I, I know that this object has only one table. So I can choose rows in the first table. If you have multiple tables, then you can choose this. But of course, I have only one table. I can choose this rows in the first table. Now go to variables and then choose your variable name. So because I the query that using for fetch config is returning two columns right config id and config object so i want to store those two column values into two different variables for each execution so let's create a new variables for each of those columns so the first one is config id and then that is of type integer and value is zero because that's an integer type we have to specify as value zero or any numeric otherwise it doesn't allow because it, empty means string right now click ok now index should be zero for the first column and then create new column new variable for config value now string is right click OK and 1 that's it and now click OK now execute the package just to verify we have mapped correctly or not so we have mapped correctly if you want to see the changes in the variables for each loop then you can go to for each loop container and you can edit breakpoints and then you can check break at the beginning of every iteration of the loop now click OK now execute the package again and then you can go to watch and then enter your config value or the parameter that you specify variable that you specify so for every loop it shows you the value changes here so now it is showing net and you can pin here like this now continue it is showing org now it is showing dev now it's showing info right so that's how you can monitor or you can check whether the variable values are changing or not okay while developing now stop the package execution and right click edit breakpoints uncheck this and click ok so now we've got our looping and we've got our variables for configuration data only now i want to create a new variable for connection for file connection right so i want to create file connection variable and that's of type string and i want to create a, an expression here to store full qualified path the the primary source url i have stored in the project parameter if you click evaluate it shows and then i would like to store config value here now I should not use like this I need to use like this and click evaluate um, so the problem here is plus so now you can see here because there is no value at the beginning we haven't uh, assigned any value by default right it will be assigned at runtime so that's why it's not showing any value here for config value but it stores some config value so in order to test that for initial verification or validation purpose let's uh, have a default value stored in config value now 
now click OK now let's store a value here just reading from our source table let's uh, store this com and then paste it here so now let's go to this again so evaluate here so it stores it it shows the full qualified path here right now we've got our file connection actual full file connection ready now so for each loop the value in the file connection gets changed so now go ahead and download those files using a task in SSIS package so let's do that in the next task thanks for watching my video see you in the next task